Hi everyone. Uh, as this is the time of the year of peace, I just thought I would speak briefly about peace. And um, the term martial art, people always say what we practice is a martial art. Martial means war and fighting, but actually the translation to martial arts really not very good. If you practice Budo or if you practice Wushu, um, when you look at the kanji, it's actually stop the spear. So uh, original martial arts were the way of peace or the way of maintaining peace. And martial artists were supposed to be peacemakers. That's why I love that saying of, you know, you need a soft front and a strong back because peace is earned. Peace is not a natural state. You know, there's a lot of violence in the world and uncontrolled when people's emotions and so on are uncontrolled, um, they very quickly uh, turn to violence. So we have to earn peace. Peace comes from strength. So that soft front, that polite demeanor, patience, kindness, tolerance, compassion, it's earned, you know, it's, it's not a natural state. So having the soft front as having the, the strong back to be able to support it. And that's what martial arts is. You see a lot of people talking about um, karate ni sentenashi. There is no first attack in karate. And everyone talks about the preemptive strike and self-defense and so on. But I think even in karate, you, you've got to understand how it came about. You know, kara originally was Chinese. So Chinese hand, karate. And it was um, Funakoshi who changed it to the Zen aspect, kara meaning empty. And people say, oh, empty hands that don't have any weapons, but it actually means empty of intention. And this actually, even for self-defense, is quite an important strategy. Almost all traditional martial arts, when you look at them, are grappling arts, including karate. You know, the boxing aspect of it only really came about um, with the development of, of, of sport. So... If you look at the karate katas, there's no place where you just punch. You're always using both hands. So one hand is, is, is always grappling at least, um, but destroying the opponent's balance and so on. In Tai Chi, uh, you know, you, we talk about you, you have a list of techniques to learn, you internalize the techniques, but you should reach a stage when they're internalized where you're looking at what not to do. And what they say is, is no, no collapses, no protrusions and no leaning. What this means is that when somebody sends you a punch or is violent towards you, they are giving you a gift. So a preemptive strike could work, might work very well against an untrained person or if you snipe them when they're not looking or whatever, but actually by throwing a technique at a trained person, that's a mistake because that's going to be an extension. You're actually giving them something. And uh, you know, most martial arts will be when somebody comes into your personal space and throws an arm or a leg or whatever, um, then they're on your home territory. So looking at it this way, all our martial arts are centered around preventing violence, stopping violence, earning peace, becoming a peacemaker, having the ability of the strength and the power to be able to deal with negative violence and bring it to a state of peace. And when you look at the names of the arts, you know, like judo, soft way, jujitsu, soft technique, Aikido, the way of peace and harmony, uh, Wada, Wadaru, uh, the way of peace and so on. The, the, the names say it all really. So this time of the year, we've got to think about peace. And I think to understand in this quite violent world, um, when it's uncontrolled, we need the peacemakers. We need the people that have been trained. We need the people that are able to have that soft, front so that they can give patients kindness, tolerance, compassion, politeness and so on, but have got the strong back, the ability to be able to support it if pushed. Okay, so martial arts, bad translation, uh, stopping the spear, the way of peace, the way of balance in the yin and yang, the way of bringing it to a point of balance. Uh, we are the peacemakers. Thank you.